A reading from the Gospel of John. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, you do not know now what I'm doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, one who is bathed does not need to wash, except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. For this reason, he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, had put on his robe, and had returned to the table, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly, I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. Now, the Son of Man has been glorified. And God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I'm with you only a little longer. You will look for me. And as I have said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples. If you have a love, for one another. This is the word of the Lord. Today, we are reading the story of the um, washing of the feet and of the Last Supper. And that's a hard thing to think about when we're not able to gather and have communion. But I think it's important that we understand the image that we have from Christ, of the washing of the feet, of the servanthood. And right now, we need to reflect on those who are washing the feet of others and being present with them when they are dying alone, but also a Christ who is with us in communion, even as we're in different places and spaces, that 
gathering together is something that we should never take for granted, but that Christ is with us wherever we are, and that the communion of saints does not extend just to those who gather at the altar, but to people of all time and all places. And so even as we are not able to have communion, we know that as Christ shared the meal and said to do this in remembrance of me, and as Christ washed the feet of the disciples, that he calls us to lives of servant, servanthood, and that we are called to live out his true presence with us. And whether we are gathered together or not, that cannot be changed. Let us pray. Eternal God, in the sharing of a meal, your son established a new covenant for all people. And in the washing of feet, he showed us the dignity of service. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these signs of our life in faith may speak again to our hearts, feed our spirits, and refresh our bodies. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen.